You're watching KSD3 News with Dave Reinhardt, Sherry Carr, and Allison Westfall. Welcome, Kino. This is our last KSD3 News until after spring break. We want you to know we miss your kids and we miss school being in session for sure. Absolutely. We care about all of you and trust you're safe and well and hopefully enjoying this extended break. We are also concerned for our families that rely on school breakfast and lunch, and we have a plan to distribute meals through spring break and beyond if we have a longer closure. We're really grateful for our amazing food service team who has put that together. Thank you, Val and team. Um, and another great team that's working on, on helping us be um, extra vigilant is our team of custodians who are hard at work sanitizing all of our school buildings, which will be closed to everyone starting on Friday. This includes the district office. I asked custodian, well, I didn't ask, Sherry actually asked, um, custodian supervisor Ben Gleaton what's been happening. Hello, I'm Ben Gleaton and I'm the custodial supervisor for CUNY School District. Our custodial staff will be using this time with no students or staff on site to disinfect all of our buildings. We are placing sign on each building that has been completed and ask that no staff enter the building once the signs are in place, as this could compromise the work that's been completed. Thank you for your assistance in this matter and stay safe. All of the district's indoor and outdoor athletic facilities are closed. That's unfortunate, but there's silver linings along the way. Please take a look. During this two week period where we're off, we're going to take the opportunity to do some aerating and some overseeding on our football field and do some uh, repairs on our facility. So all the facilities, including the track and the tennis courts, will be locked up at Keisha. So all the gates and entrances going into the athletic facility will be locked during this time. Hey, Dave, can people still walk around our school open spaces like here at Fremont? I think they sure should. It's good to get out and get some fresh air. And while some of our facilities will be fenced, places like Fremont's track, and a lot of our open space will be open. Uh, do follow the guidance from Centers of Disease Control and our federal government. Uh, don't gather in large groups. You've heard all of that. Uh, please, no soccer games, big games, touch football. Just please get out, walk, run, uh, enjoy this, this land that is, that is uh, a gift to our community. Please know that our playground equipment will not be clean during break. Yeah. Wendy. We've been doing a lot of planning, a lot of meetings. Yeah. Uh, could you tell people what's been happening with teachers and principals? You bet. Um, before I jump into that, I want to make sure and thank all of the hardworking teams that have been working their tails off to make sure that our children and our community um, are cared for during this unknown time. Um, so our, our, we, we met yesterday, as you know, a big team of, of administrators and teacher leaders and some amazing volunteers that came together to say, okay, should we have an extended break beyond um, the spring break? What are we going to do to help our families and help our students? And so this team of people and their amazing heart for kids, because that's what we that's why we're here. We love children and we want to make sure that they're successful for their future. Um, came up with a whole bunch of ideas of things that kids could do. They're optional learning um, activities that we will send home weekly um, through electronic communications with parents so that when parents are about ready to say, okay, I'm worried that my, my children aren't learning, that they have a whole bunch of ideas of things that they can do. I um, also want to give a shout out to the Boys and Girls Club. We um, have um, continued our partnership, and we have a great partnership with them, and they're going to continue to stay open as long as that is in the best interest and under guidance. So um, if, if you need a, a place to be, and as long as they can handle it with their, with their staff, um, uh, the Boys and Girls Club will still be open in, in our facility at Ross, and we are also following incredible sanitation procedures that our amazing custodians have implemented to make sure that it's a safe place for kids to be. Can you talk a little bit about uh, students that don't have Wi-Fi access or don't have devices at home to do this continued learning? Yes, um, and again, I'll give a shout out to Jim Obert and his amazing tech team. Um, we're working diligently to find um, some um, 
continue to find some opportunities for uh, to, to get more mobile devices within the hands of our kids. Um, and then we have turned on some hotspots throughout the um, community, mostly through our schools that kids will be able to connect to. More specific details to come because um, they're working through some of those because some of the hotspots and things that we typically would check out to kids, they're all checked out at this point. So we're kind of creating our own on the fly. And if there's any of you out there that have ideas or have um, ways to help with that, um, should we need them, we'd love to hear from you about um, getting some of those free resources for our kids who may need them. When will we hear something about if there's an extended closure, how can parents plan? Um, we want to notify no later than the Friday of spring break, so that's March 27th, I believe. Um, so we'll be sending out a communication, if not before then, because um, we're continuing to get daily guidance from our um, state and federal leaders as far as what the next best step is. Um, so we'll be letting you know. Um, and again, all of our decisions are made with what's best for our children as a forefront in our mind. If they have any questions in the meantime, how do they get a hold of us? Um, they can send us an email um, through our um, form on our website, and that comes to uh, Dave, comes to me, and comes to Kim, and comes to our amazing communications team. Thank you, Wendy. Thanks for being a guest host this weekend, or this week. Yeah. Uh, glad to have you. Love it. Thank you, community, for being awesome. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you after spring break, if not before. Uh, please stay safe. Wash your hands. Yeah. Bye for now.